Good morning, family. I'm so thankful you joined me for today's devotion. I just want to take a moment to recognize a few celebrations that are worth sharing with you today. Our Growing Faith Fellowship family would like to wish Michelle and Keith a happy anniversary and Michelle a happy birthday. We pray the Lord continues to bless you all with many more prosperous and happy years. Enjoy your weekend. Today we are going to um, really talk from the perspective of our kids are watching. Um, this topic was inspired uh, last week during our Bible study. Uh, we had a special guest zoom in and um, his experiences growing up in the church were, um, were, were amazing. Uh, but he, while he was sharing his experiences, it really was a strong reminder that um, our kids are watching. It was the case even uh, years ago as he was growing up and people in the church didn't realize that, that their behavior and um, their words were actually influencing a young child that was paying attention and they didn't even realize it. And it's true today. I just wanted to take a moment to share um, an experience that I encountered um, in 2019. And it too has been a constant reminder that our kids are watching and um, they, they are gaining their strength from us. So in 2019, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, like anyone, I was afraid of the unknown. Um, I was uncertain of what the future would hold. And so um, I remember calling my mother for a couple of reasons. She is a fierce praying warrior. Um, and number two, she had traveled this journey 25 years prior to my diagnosis. And so, of course, after she uh, gave me a few scriptures that um, she strongly felt I needed to stand on during this, this journey, before we got off of the phone, she shared something that was profound. She said, remember, the way you handle this situation will determine the way your children handle it. And I appreciate that because I remember that while she was experiencing her breast cancer journey, I remember her surgeon coming out to tell my dad and I that she was going to be fine regardless of how aggressive the cancer was. And he said he was certain of that because of her attitude. And I remember her being positive never making us feel like this would defeat her. Rather, she would defeat it. And thankfully, she did. And so today, as I talk about our kids are watching, I want us to think about that perspective in this COVID-19 world. Because many of us are preparing to go back to school and we're having conversations in our homes, we're having conversations with school leadership. You may even be having conversations with church leaders about how to navigate um, such troubling and unique times. But let me encourage you as I've had to encourage myself as not only um, someone who works for the school district, but also a parent of two students who are headed back to a university setting. Prior to COVID, during COVID, and even after COVID, we must remember that nothing has changed. God requires of us today what he did before and what he will always require. And that is Proverbs chapter three, found in verse five. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him 
and he will make your path straight. We have to find biblical principles that we can stand on so that we can also speak those words of encouragement, of victory into the lives of our kids. And most importantly, so that they could hear us speak those words of victory. Imagine being a parent, expecting your child in these moments, during these times, to have a positive attitude, yet you have an attitude that's negative and not reassuring and very discouraging. We have to model what our kids are being expected to operate as. Imagine being a teacher wanting students to have an A-plus attitude, but yet they show up, whether in person or virtually, without their A-plus attitude. Imagine being a coach during these difficult times, expecting your student athletes to have a winning mentality, and yet you are not showing up with your victorious mentality. All I'm asking us to do is to remember that our kids are watching. They're watching what we say. They're watching what we do. Most importantly, they're watching how we respond to today's situation. So let's not be defined by the uncertainty, the fear, the anxiety that all of us are feeling during this moment. Rather, let's press in to the word of God. Find that one scripture that you can hold on to. Find that one positive reinforcement that you say out loud, that you meditate on within and in hopes that our children will have something that they could model after because we're demonstrating God's love through our words, through our actions. And this isn't the first time we've seen a tough time. It won't be the last, but what we can do is make sure our kids are equipped with the word of God and the power of positive thinking and positive speaking to help them overcome times like this. I wanna share a scripture with you and it's found in Proverbs 18, chapter 18, verse four. A person's words can be life-giving water. Words of true wisdom are refreshing as a bubbling brook. A bubbling brook is a natural stream of calming water. And I found it to be profound that Proverbs chapter 18 verse 4 would describe a natural stream of water, a body of water that is calming, that's soothing, the same need that our children have from us. Our words hold so much power that we're able to deliver that in just how we respond verbally. The word tells us that the gift of words is just that, it's a gift and it's powerful and that we should understand how to tap into that power for the benefit of glorifying God. And so as I share and wrap up with you today, I just want to remind you that we are indeed in this together. Let's remember to keep each other encouraged, but most importantly, let's remember our kids are watching. What example do we set to help them overcome future life challenges based on how we respond in the present? So I want to um, end today's devotion with a music video by Hawk Nelson. Ironically, this music video is entitled Words. And I just wanted to um, 
just seep into your spirit. I pray that it blesses you as much as it blessed me. I don't care how many times I listen to it. I too have to remind myself and be intentional that the words that I speak, the things that I say, whether to my children, to uh, children that I've been entrusted to, to serve and protect, to my family, to my friends, to my colleagues, I am responsible for the words that come out of my mouth. And I understand that it is like a living water. And I understand that I have to be intentional that it glorifies God whenever I say something and that my walk lines up with my talk. And so uh, please uh, allow this song to minister to you. I thank you for joining me today. Before our music video gets started, I'd just like to close us in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for today, Father. Father, we thank you for giving us the gift of words, Father, and the power to influence in a positive way the lives of those around us, Father. Father, most importantly, may we be reminded that our kids are watching, Father, and they depend on us. They rely on us for reassurance. They rely on us for comfort. They rely on us for the calmness of their day, of their spirit. And Father, we want to be intentional about being those words and those actions of calmness and reassurance, Father. Father, I pray that every parent, grandparent, every church and school leader, every teacher, every coach, every mentor, every aunt, every uncle, and anyone else, who has a direct hand and has accepted the responsibility to nurture and protect our children, Father. Father, we pray that we continue to seek you for wisdom, for we know that in Proverbs chapter three, we are reminded that wisdom bestows wellness, Father. And so we just wanna be in that spirit and walk in the spirit of wellness, knowing that this too shall pass. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We love you. We ask all these many blessings and more through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today, family. Please stay tuned for Hawk Nelson Words music video. Be encouraged and be well.